off to right then to show you some amazing platforming in Sammy Sucre 8 in Lion Land. All right. Hello, everyone. I'm Riven. This is Sammy. Uh, just to clear up some confusion at first, because I'm sure half of the people in chat don't know what a circuit is. I believe the other word for it is meerkat. So uh, there you go. Hope that clears some stuff up. Uh, so we're going to be doing all levels, uh, starting out with the tutorial. So let's just get started right away. Three, two, one, go. All right, so first off, don't worry about this. That's just fine. Uh, so in the tutorial, in the first level, we're going to be learning what white gems are and how they open doors for us. That's very convenient. In the second level, we're going to be learning how to jump. So, uh, yeah, using jumping to get to the end, as you do. Uh, in level 3, the game introduces colored gems, which are different from white gems, but they still are used to open doors uh, and other things like that. Uh, now here is level 4, where we get introduced to our lion friends right here. So we're gonna get this lion over into this corner and bully them a little bit. Hopefully. There we go. And now with some magic, they help us get to the end. Very nice. Now the next couple levels uh, introduce the bugs that we can pick up and also get to the end of the level with them. Uh, now here we have some boomerangs that are colored like the lesbian pride flag. So uh, Sammy says lesbian rights. Does your speed game say that? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, so we're already eight levels into the tutorial out of 12. We're gonna wait here for another lion friend who is going to help us come over here and not do that, please. There we go. Maybe? No. Please? There we go. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Alright, new mechanic. Uh, downward slopes. When you have a slope sort of going down into the floor, you can just walk into it. And there we go. Alright, uh, new mechanic. Doors. Uh, this is like the only place where doors are actually relevant, so... I don't know why they're here, but hey, they are. That's cool, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, hey, look, a slope. Cool. Okay, uh, oh, I forgot this level existed. So, uh, tutorial 11 is all about, um, you know, going around and, uh... So, tutorial 12 <laughs> shows us a new mechanic. Uh, which is lions that kill us, apparently. Okay, that's that wasn't meant to happen. That's fine. Uh, so you know how we had a lion friend help us through a wall? Well, what if we use our camera friend instead and actually went up a wall with the camera? So that's a tutorial done. Uh, so we're gonna move immediately on to jump and run. Don't worry about that yet again. Definitely doesn't have anything to do with you know, disabling the AI of lions. And uh, with that, I think you can get like one or two donations in right now. Absolutely. We have $50 from Captain Tudmoak. Glad to be able to catch the end of the awful block. My favorite part of every GDQ. Bad games are the best games. True. Let's hear one more. Yeah. We have $50 from uh, Foxito. Here's $50 for the Halo 3 run, because more games is always better. Also very true. Alright, so this here, this may look like a door, but it's not actually, it's a ladder. And we can just climb it like that. I don't know why they texture it the same as a, uh, as a door. Don't ask me, but, you know, that's good. Uh, yeah, so we did that. Now we're gonna just come over here, snag a wasp and some lesbian rights. As you do, I'm gonna come over here, get on this invisible wall, and just jump to the end. Alright, so you may have noticed some magic happening whenever I like throw bugs or bully lions or other such stuff. So what's actually happening is I'm pressing the M key 
And I'm pretty sure the M actually stands for magic. But a side effect of doing magic is actually toggling the music that plays at, at the moment. Which also happens to freeze the game. Which is why the magic happens. So, uh, yeah. If, if you're wondering if the stream was lagging or whatever, no. That's just the game. Uh, that was a slope, by the way. Alright. Uh, level 8. This one is actually pretty long. There's like a lot of stuff you have to do. It's pretty big. So, uh, level 9. Oh, wait, no. That's level 8. Is it? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> uh, we are going to do some more magic. This time with the sprint power up. Uh, so, as it turns out, when you press sprint, you accelerate, and then when you let go, you decelerate. But if you do some magic, uh, while decelerating, it actually slows it down, so uh, we get to go fast for longer. As we all know, lesbians are very fast. <laughs> Alright, uh, I was gonna have a witty comment about this level, but it's already done, so... Okay, so uh, as I was saying, on this level, uh, we're not gonna be doing too much. Well, any clipping shenanigans. We basically have to play this level completely as intended. So, uh, we'll be doing that. And meanwhile, feel free to get another donation in. We have ten dollars from Mick Swervy. This game looks hilariously Anytime, bad. It I'm just here crashed. For it. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> uh, let's let's hear another one while I restart. Absolutely. We have twenty-five dollars from Ramen. So dope to see Ryan at AGDQ running what some might call the greatest <laughs> game ever developed. Thank Good you. luck Fair and much. have fun. All right, so this level is like extremely long, right? You can see in the top right, 4,300 score requirement. That's a lot of gems. That's like more gems than I can count. But luckily, there's just a hidden entrance right here. So that's convenient. So now we're done with jump and run and on to the last level set, think and run. So uh, as the name may suggest, it is, in fact, uh, the most sort of puzzle-focused. So there's definitely going to be a lot less platforming and a lot more uh, puzzling. You know, high focus, high intensity gaming. So uh, I think we can get one or two donations in here. Well, we I... have a separate... Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, we have a $75 donation from Steven that just says, Y'all are awesome, and this event is a highlight of my year. And we have a $10 donation from Lune, longtime viewer, first time donator. My uncle recently lost his fight with cancer, and my grandfather was just diagnosed with it. Let's keep fighting. Let's keep fighting, indeed. All right, so after some uh, very intense thinking, I've realized that. Uh, you may be seeing these four really thin pillars here. So actually only this one is solid. The rest are like completely walk through. Uh, so we're gonna be using that fact to hopefully 
one day. Get inside that pillar. There we go. And just uh, climb all the way to the top. So, you know. Uh, by the way, this game has quick saving and quick loading. In case it wasn't a perfect speed game already, uh, it's even more perfecter. So, you know, that's good. Uh, here's a fun one. We're just gonna position ourselves like right here. Not right there, actually. Uh, that was the wrong spot. <laughs> Try that again. So, come over here. Quick save, perhaps. Gonna position ourselves not there, but a quick save. Right here, there we go. Look like around there. And hopefully, there we go, get all the way on top here. It's probably the biggest step of the run. Uh, so yeah, now we're sort of finishing the, uh, the last level set, so slowly get ready on time. About uh, three more levels, I believe. Now it's three. So this is the tenth level. And this is where another interesting uh, property of going inside things comes into play. So uh, first of all, I'm collecting four bugs here because these green bugs are thrown in sets of three and I need to throw two sets of them. So four is the minimum to do that. And now I'm gonna come over here, grab a green gem, open this door, break this with three bugs, and then do some very questionable magic, very low FPS magic, to come all the way over there. Because when you're in collision, uh, the rate at which you go up, by the way, these are ladders again, uh, the rate at which you go up is based on your frame rate. So if I keep doing magic, and then uh, when we go up slower and I go forward at the same rate, so timing is time is like in a couple seconds. Just need to get the zip, which is very consistent, as you can tell. The most consistent one. There we go. All right. So get ready and time. All right. <laughs> one little hiccup, but overall. Oi pessoal, aqui é a Tuca, uh, acho que vocês ficaram um tempo sem yeah, gente, é, tivemos um probleminha aí com uh, quem iria comentar, eu tô entrando meio aqui para segurar, é, a gente já tá, <risos> já foi um tempinho uh, dessa run do, do Suricato Semi na terra do leão. <risos> Eu nunca vi esse jogo, mas ele parece ser um tanto quanto bem feito. É, eu tô achando que eu cheguei meio, meio tarde, mas... Caramba, esse jogo é de 2001, hein? Obrigado muito, Poker. Obrigado muito, AGTQ, por me ter. Uh, Ela tá... Agra... É, acabou. Eu cheguei porque acabou. É, bom and, trabalho uh, pra mim, né, gente? Espero que tenham curtido aí a run e o comentário. Putz. <risos> I think the awesome games have been going for quite some time now. I don't think we need to make that clarification here. Thank you so much for that very, very entertaining run of Sam's Surrogate, Ryphon. Right